Investigating a rape of a 20 year old woman. It happened last night. A report on rape by a Chicago police. The U.S. Justice Department reports that female college students are at a higher risk for sexual assault than their non-college bound peers. That one in four. One in four. Just released statistics that show that one in four. Will be the victim of rape or attempted rape before they graduate. And experts say that number is actually a low ball since the crime remains underreported. Right now, school is back in session for millions of college students. There are classes, social activities, the freedom of being away from home, and this disturbing probability. One in four young women will be the victim of rape or attempted rape before they graduate from college. One in four, that's according to a Department of Justice study. This information young women need to know. These are things they will not learn in the classroom, and parents need to pay attention as well. And here's some other disturbing statistics from the study looking into the brutal reality of rape on campus. 90% of victims know their attackers. That's because it's usually a classmate, a friend, a boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, perhaps an acquaintance. 45% of this happens on campus. And here's the most shocking and sad part of the report. Less than 5% of the victims report the rapes or attempted rapes to police. If they tell anyone, it's usually just a friend, not a school official, not a relative. Here's one way women are getting the word out about the crime. Look at this. I was raped last year, my freshman year of college, when I was 19 years old. You know, guys have a hard time resisting something like that. It's easy to point fingers at me, but I said no over and over. And he knew how I felt about it. He knew I didn't want to. and He did it anyway. If someone was drinking, if someone was wearing a short skirt, if someone went back to someone's apartment and then changed their One of the victims in that documentary yeah. talked about the night Maybe of it's her attack. Their fault, but it is their fault. The alcohol was involved. Um, I wasn't nearly as drunk as he was, um, from what I remember and what I can recall. Um, but yeah, it was definitely one of those situations that I trusted him. Um, and I didn't think it would lead to what it actually led to. Um, but he was very drunk and much more forceful than I had ever experienced around anyone in my life. Um, so when it came down to it, it, I thought it was kind of just like a friendly encounter. Um, and then he got very forceful and it went bad very quickly. Here to talk about this very important issue is Steve Cardi and the well-known law enforcement expert on crime prevention, campus and women's safety and self-defense is joining us by Skype. Steve, thanks for um, joining us. You know, when I put this on my Facebook page and I told people I was going to talk about this and I, I talked about that number one in four, I got some pushback because some people just don't believe the number. They're skeptical about it. They have a hard time processing it. Um, talk about the why the number is very real and very credible to you. Well, Rochelle, let, let's take a look at the big picture. We see that women uh, between the age of 12 and 34 are that likely age. Then we break it down, 16 to 20 years of age are four times more likely, and then we put it under the microscope. And we see that a young lady entering her freshman year of college between September and Thanksgiving recess is at the most vulnerable time in her life. And believe the stats. We don't want to, but believe the stats. They're very accurate. They're very real. And if anything, they're even worse than what the DOJ is reporting. Um, we talked about 5%, fewer, less than 5% actually report this to someone official. Why so underreported, Steve? Well, I work for Campus Speak. I lecture across the country at college and university uh, uh, all the time. Um, we see that th there's a variety of aspects. The girls today are, are chalking it up to, it was my, my mistake, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to be the center of attention. I'm going to get somebody suspended from school. So they try and justify it in their own means. And that 95% that don't report it, that's a very real statistic. And I think because 95% don't report it, that's why this one in four number is so shocking to people as well. You talked about this just a little bit ago, uh, the time when young women, when it's so vulnerable. The study says the first few weeks of freshman and sophomore years is when young, it's most, uh, the time when it's most vulnerable for young women. Why is that? 